Hello and welcome to the Tableau Advanced Dashboard case study and this case study is something which I cover in my Tableau training. The inspiration for this case study is coming from the Tableau public where when you search for the inspiration to create dashboard you find a lot of innovative example and I chose this because I really like this and I thought this would really be uh, you know useful for me as a lifelong learner or as you who wants to create an advanced dashboard so i picked this recreated this and uh, and now i'm giving a training to create this but i wanted to show you this as to what i am covering in my training and also wanted to give you an idea about how you can create step by step where i will show you like what are all the components you need to create and i want you to practice it with the help of this case study okay so first thing first is about data so the data for this is present over here in row 8 sports dashboard and this is where i'm keeping all of my data set for advanced dashboard case studies and uh, what you can do is uh, the link you will going to get is for the folder and in the folder you have this data set sheet which is nothing but this sheet where you can come and you can download this okay and once you download you need to start creating this dashboard so what's going on first of all the title then here is the summary when was this played what was the competition city empire match review and toss then what you have is basically the teams who played the world cup like different teams and this is also a calculated filter so for example india versus south africa you will see this right 227 230 47 50 overs how many wickets so on and so forth right and this basically shows the story of the game where clearly you can see with the dark blue india was always high and then you have down below the scorecard at a high level which is also a calculated field a lot going on over here to finally produce something like this uh, as for example if i choose let's say england versus south africa you ch you see that number of overs and all of this is changing based on all out over here not slash eight right so all of these small things you will find it that that i'm doing it over here uh, while recreating it and so that you get the best out okay so once you have these summaries for these two teams where down below we have over by over analysis over here and here where down below you have each over starting from 1 to 50 so this is what you have 50 lines and in each over this is gray is indicating dot ball and this is indicating four runs then you have some blue color as well which is three this is a higher one which is uh, six runs so very clearly you can see that there were a lot of boundaries four runs over here but a lot of dot balls as well so it it basically helps you analyze a lot of data right and compared to you can see in the new zealand they were starting from the you know they were very attacking not a lot of uh, uh, gray uh, basically circles which is indicating the blank or uh, no run on that ball but you can clearly see a good basic uh, numbers uh, of runs which was scored in the uh, each over right and then down below over here it shows the average run rate that they have 4.6 and they have 8.1 clearly shown over here as to how big or less they were so there is a lot going on and if you see this is where i am creating the match summary by putting all of these fields directly from the data set and then formatting it to look like this right then what i'm doing is the story of the game is basically indicating with the help of some calculated fields finding a running total difference to give an idea as to which one is higher and which one is lower then what you have is the team title what is the first team title the summary the second team title and the summary and a lot of this is going on over here you can see in the text as to how we can do that and do the right color coding then this is where we are basically going to create a lot of calculated fields and then plot it over the over and you know for the with the help of the start of the line and end of the line calculation that we are doing this is something we can create it uh, all of these different visualization a very innovative visualization one of those reasons it basically caught my attention like i felt like this is the best visualization which we can produce for this uh, amount of data then you have the dot chart for this particular second team and this is a run rate 
simply average second is also the average which we are producing and finally what we are doing is putting it all together which is also a, a, a complex task uh, to create a proper dashboard like this and uh, putting each component as you know placing it where they are properly and uh, creating a good and nice uh, layout for your end user with that you can come select your end user can select and they can do analysis every information is at their fingertips right so you can see a lot going on in this dashboard and i hope um, you will be able to create it this is something which i'm covering as i told as part of my uh, training right so this will keep you busy and uh, and and you know really help you develop your skills if you are able to produce it if you need help if you want to attend my training you know feel free to reach out to me and uh, there i have recorded sessions and all to, to basically help you and the live Q&A sessions to help you uh, understand all of these dashboards. With that, thank you so much. I'll meet you in the next video with some other case study.